So here's my LS bucket pre-luber. Um, I didn't come up with this idea entirely. I saw something similar on the internet, so but I figured I'd go over it just in case anybody wanted to build one. So the problem with these LS motors, obviously, is there's no distributor to uh, take out and prime the oil pump. I'm getting ready to put the rest of my bracket accessories on, but wanted to make sure I had oil flowing everywhere because I took this, this is a 4.8 liter with a bunch of modifications done to a new cam, uh, valve train, you know, whole nine yards. It's got a LS6 intake on it. And since I'd replaced all that stuff, I decided I wanted to pre-lube it before I, uh, before I put all my accessories on and then tried to fire it. So what I've got here is essentially a, a bucket from Lowe's or Home Depot cost me a couple of bucks. I've got a mechanical oil pressure gauge. Um, I've basically built a metal reinforcement plate top and bottom. Uh, I've labeled it in and out. So underneath, you've got a small block Chevy oil pump that I've cut the pickup tube on. It's just a cheap $20 one from like Cragen or whatever. I went down and there's the the rest of the pickup I've you know attached with a piece of hose here in the bottom of the bucket, which I'll fill with oil. And I've got, this is the drive unit for it, for which I've built a custom little drive piece, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. It was in the drill. So I just took a piece of all thread and milled the ends down on my little cheap mini mill, which an angle grinder would work. Then I had an old suspension bushing and put it in there, so that'll spin the pump. And then as far as fittings, I went into this front oil galley here and bought a adapter fitting to go into the oil galley. It's like a 16, M16.5, I'll show you the package a little later. And then I put a T on it so I could put the pressure gauge and then uh, an adapter to a, to a barb fitting. And then on the oil pan side, I did essentially same thing. I ran an adapter to hose, you know, to the barbed hose there, and coming out of the oil pan. And then I have some fuel hose here, some continental fuel hose, going into the bucket. So the premise is, put, I don't know, I bought 10 quarts of oil, but put as much as I can in the bucket, and uh, hopefully some of it will return. Um, so here's the package with the fittings. Here's the oil galley plug that goes in the front there. Um, it's a M16 by 1.5, so I bought a 16 by 1.5 autometer adapter. There's a part number. Then for the oil pan, I have a Holly 302-2 oil pan on it, but that's the that's the fitting to that. So the second here, I'll I'll lube her up. Uh, one of the things I read that's important is to make sure you turn the crankshaft a couple of times when doing it, so you can line all the oil ports up and get them up to the valve covers. So uh, I'll do a video when I'm lubing it too. So here's the LS bucket pre-luber running. You can see you can go oil pressure all the way to 50. See, it's there. All right, so here's the LS bucket pre-luber. We've been spinning it here. And I at first had a line running to the drain plug on the oil pan, but uh, it was, wasn't draining fast enough, so now we've, uh, taking and doing it in spurts and then draining it back into the jug. Um, so I've been spinning the crankshaft over by hand quite a bit and we've got oil to virtually ev coming through every push rod up here. Uh, I want to spin it over some more just so I can get that guy a little bit better and then I'll check the driver's side. 